think I'm Big Meech, huh? Larry Larry Hoover. All right, so let me give you all a little bit of sample. We just going to spend 10 minutes. Let me see something. All right, we there. We going to spend 10 minutes talking about this real quick. All right, so um, according to the AP, uh, Big Meech, Demetrius Flannori, which his brother had already been released a while ago, uh, some years ago, but Big Meech, uh, he left federal prison for a residential program in Miami. This is a younger version of him. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see the transition from 20 years of being locked up in prison. Much, much different. Um, says that he co-founded the notorious, the notorious drug trafficking organization, BMF, or the Black Mafia family, will serve the remainder of his prison sentence in a residential reentry program in Miami. He is now 56 years old, was originally sentenced to 30 years in prison, following his 2008 conviction for drug trafficking and money laundering. He was recently transferred to the residential program in Miami. 50 brought the story of Flannory and his brother Terry to stars in an eight-episode series, BMF, in 2021. The series, which has aired two more seasons, delves into the 1980s, blah, 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 blah. Um, Thursday, she's overjoyed that he's finally free after nearly 20 years behind bars. He uses prison time to focus on personal growth transformation and now has the opportunity to begin a new chapter. He's out, but millions more remain trapped inside. There's so much work, so much work to be done. We need to push for real change for a justice system that recognizes the dignity and potential for redemption in every individual. So question then becomes, how do you guys feel about Big Meech? Huh? Larry Hoover now being released from prison, transitioning into a Miami residential facility, and then eventually hitting the streets. Thoughts? I think they shouldn't put a drug dealer in Miami. That's all. They shouldn't put a what? I don't think they should put a drug dealer in Miami. No, he's not a drug dealer anymore, Mika. (laughs) Okay. He's not a drug dealer anymore. I understand that, but Miami is uh, it's potential for slap, you know, a slide back. So he just transitioning into a residential facility. It's called. Um, okay. I, I would I would imagine it's like a halfway house. That's what we call mm, a halfway okay. house. Okay. Do y'all think that is, do y'all, do you care? Do y'all think that his impact will be significant, influence, he's still influential? What do you guys think? Any, any other thoughts in addition to that? Only, only problem I have with like, uh, people who deal drugs is like, um, I guess you can say the, uh, like when rappers, they, they big it up and they do this and that, like, that's the only problem I have with it. Like, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be like a glorified glorified. Thank you. It shouldn't be glorified, but I don't feel like it's, it should technically be illegal either. Like, because what shouldn't be illegal. Like, I don't think you should do long, long prison sentences for it because the the only reason I say that. Yeah. And the only reason I say that is because the pharmaceutical industry, they don't go after them. They don't, the, nobody does hard time for getting all that shit through. That shit does way worse to the body than it does, than drugs do. Like, like uh, drugs, that we call recreational get... drugs, recreational drugs. Like, no way, you're drugs, not slamming, you're not They get locked up, but do they ever get locked up for selling no. drugs or do they usually get locked up for the stuff that goes on around it? Well, around it. Is, it's usually around it. The thing okay, is, the yeah. thing is, the thing is though, the corruption that go that the pharmaceutical industry that's in there and listen i'm not condoning illegal activity the problem is it's only illegal because they can't tax it that's the thing but with the pharmaceutical companies they go through so much shit to make these things legal that they know are illegal opioids what is the difference what's the difference they're opioids like oxycodone and um I forgot the other one. They they got documentary. It's, it's FDA. Like, it's FDA approved. Yeah, but they the, the the conspiracy that they go through. Like if you watch, uh, oh man, dope. Uh, what is it? Dope. Uh, I forgot. I don't the know. Name I, understand, I understand what you're saying. I don't disagree that there's some corruption 
within the pharmaceutical industry also. I don't, but I also don't believe that it should absolve drug dealers from being held accountable for poison in their community. Now, if you want to say, hey, they should have more stricter laws and they should go after the pharmaceutical companies, then I'm for that. But I don't think that they should have slap on a wrist for the drug community because the level of destruction that it causes, that's not just from the use of drugs, but how it destroys entire lives, communities, homes, and everything that goes along with it. I don't think that we should have lighter, lighter sentences for drug offenders that traffic drugs throughout the community. Well, it's, well no, see, because uh, no, it's no, not, not, a, not, a, not, a it's not just is. drugs, though. When, yeah, when you get nah, into, nah, when you about... get that big, you start getting no. into other, other, other things, right? Like most of those, especially in, especially in the Latino community, I'm telling you, it starts with the drugs, but then it becomes everything. Else. That's what I'm saying. It, it's Wait, a, you talking it's about a, the murder? The murder? Well, okay. Ooh, no, I'm talking about murders. I'm talking about trafficking. I'm talking about like it. It becomes a lot of other uh, other things like that. Um, the Trindragua game. They they're not just drugs. They're uh, <laughs> like it's it's bad. Like I yeah, want to say not, certain not things, but I, I, I can't say, say certain things. Slap but. on the wrist. I'm not gonna say you should get a slap on the wrist, but like. Yeah. I feel like anything more than like 10 years is 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 probably excessive. Wow. That's wow. Like now, now if you didn't now I'm I'm talking about for drug <clears throat> trafficking. Once you start getting into other stuff, like if you trafficking start to talk about is... people getting off, when you start to talk about people getting off, no, you're no, talking no, about you talking about like corner weed, man. A you whole conglomerate about, like... of a whole conglomerate of people selling drugs. People You're have, talking about people being have, the head of a of a crime family. Oh, a crime ring. Yeah. And he you should gotta, have less. You should get less than ten years. No, I'm not talking about no, 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 no. I'm saying strictly if you are caught trafficking drugs. That's it. Does it matter how much? You, how many, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does it matter how much drugs it is, or should it just be if you caught trafficking drugs in general? Uh, I think it's just. I think it's just. I think it should be the same across the board. If you tracking, Jesus. if you trafficking, so oh, if, I'm moving, key, drugs, if I'm moving, like, keys. So, so say that, say that, say that you get caught with an ounce, you get caught with an ounce of coke. It should be the same as anything else. It should all be the same. Wait, that wait, wait. So if you level. get if you get caught with an ounce, it should be the same. If I get caught with fifty keys. It should all be the same. It should all be the same. Slimmy, stop it, bro. Oh, no, stop. No. It should all hit now, the same. You know what you slimmy, Come but on, no. Slimmy. Come it on, should slimmy. all hit the same. Now, if you say, if you sell, if you say to me, Anton, it's out of control. A dude that get caught with a quarter key or an ounce or a pound, and he should not be getting ten years as excessive. I'm with you on that. I'm with mm -hmm. you. Where, where, but if where, you tell me, if you tell me that, if you tell me that that you should get the same sentence, if you got an ounce. Versus if you if you got fifty pounds or you got fifty keys, that's wild, Slim. That's no, all, that's also that's, that's also not work. drug trafficking. That, Selling drugs that, and that's drug the, trafficking. But, but the, I'm only saying that because that's the only way it'll work. No, it's the hell only no. way. Hell no, it's the only way. That's not no. It's the I'm only way. I, I, I think just just because we sound dumb, selling drugs isn't drug trafficking. Just just so you know. What is However it? However y'all want to frame oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However y'all want to frame it. The point is, what's it called? Slim, that's wild. It's called selling drugs, nigga. It's not called drug trafficking. That shit is wild. I, I don't know where y'all got that from. I'm just saying that's the only way I think it'll work. That's that's all I'm saying. Only thing way you think would work. It'll make sense. Because, like, all right, so say for instance, say for instance. Because you got people that's doing more than just trafficking drugs. Like they they do people getting off people getting killed i'm not talking about that but i'm saying like you should get it should all be the same penalty i ain't gonna necessarily say 10 years but maybe like i don't know i, I really i'm not in the justice system i'm just saying man like it should all be the same it should all hit the same like it should all be the same across the board you get i disagree no that's the only way i think it makes sense because it's these motherfuckers, the motherfuckers sitting up there 
getting approved by the FDA. They selling the same drugs. They ain't one wrong does not make a right. But, but they should. They should also. Well, a lot of them do. I know. I know. During COVID, they let a lot of them slide. But at the end of the day, if somebody does something on one level, it might it might not warrant the same different things like manslaughter and murder like it's not the same thing or you know and intent matters on certain things so like it's not the same thing now you can't do yeah, that like a, a guy house, selling weed <laughs> that didn't help my argument i shouldn't have said a house but yeah no you said the same you know, that's a great that's I mean, a great I example saying no huh? i'm not with that i'm not with it you can't nah you nobody's gonna convince me that a dude moving 50 keys because now you're not incentivized all you're gonna do is incentivize a nigga to get his weight up to move 50 keys because you know <laughs> he know that he gonna get the same sentence as the nigga that that's that's just like a dude that say if i kill one person I'm gonna get murdered, so I might as well kill everybody in order to not have leave no witnesses. You incentivize more crime. Yeah. Because if I'm a moving, I'm moving a hundred keys. You gotta get there though. You Whatever. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. You just gotta get it on consignment. All you gotta do is get it on consignment because now the dealers is is willing to move more because they know that the that the sentence is less. Like now, you wait a minute now. Anton. Hold on, Anton. Now you know you're going against your favorite album. You know you're going against references on your. You can't. Cause Simon is <laughs> that ain't for everybody. Now don't matter. <laughs> it, 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 it don't matter. But the point is, is that the point is, is that now you incentivize people to do way more and way worse because if I'm gonna get the same sentence as the nigga that got the ounce, I might as well crash out. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I mean, yeah. you're going to do time anyway, so you no. might as well crash on regardless. No, but what about yeah. the communities that's hurt as a result of it, Slimmy? Well, it's the, not the just about the person that's going to jail. It's about the environment and the culture that it creates around it. Well, well, yeah. No, no, no. no. See, the community get fucked over because of some of the extra shit, though, too. The extra shit that go on. Like you can't stop shit. all of the other stuff from going on. Once that you but that's what drugs happens. Into the community. But that's what happens when you started with the with the drugs. That's why the cartels are so big. Cause they start they start taking that money, they washing it with with um businesses, they're washing it with uh, yeah. you know, trafficking humans, they're washing it with this. So by the time they finish, they own the government, they own this, they own that. it. Like and it all stems from just one thing. That's why. That's why I'm like, nah. nah I can't do it. I can't roll with you on that one, Slimmy. Yeah, I tried to make it make sense. I'll take well, the. I, I, I get what I. I do get what you're saying though, I'll because sometimes, <laughs> you know, like your girl Kamala, she was giving all those people all those sentences, and in California, in them three strike laws, giving you know people thirty nine years for minimum stuff because they got caught, you know, three times doing something. It's, yeah, some of those laws are ridiculous, but nah. What do y'all think that his life is going to, like, do y'all think that he going to be, if y'all had to guess, and and we just speaking hypothetically because we want homie to do well. I want every, anybody that has served their time and they come back, you know, mm -hmm. I think that they they deserve another chance at redemption. So I'm never I'm never mad at a person that do their time for the crime that they committed or that they was convicted of and they come back. All right. So this is just a hypothetical question. Hypothetical question. Do you think that it's a stronger possibility of staying clean or it's a greater possibility of uh you know somehow going back into the lifestyle? Uh I think he I I hope the best. I hope the best, but I from the people that I talk to, I heard it's hard to stay away from that shit. Mm. I heard it's so hard. I heard it's extremely hard to stay away. Even so, after that amount of time, though, because think about it, it's not like yeah, it's not like he used to living that lifestyle after twenty years of being locked up in prison. He just probably happy to be free, right? Yeah, it depends on what was going on in prison, though. It depends on what kind of moves he was making in prison. It depends on what he was doing in there. You know, he could have been into the same shit. Who knows? That's, I, I, that's true. I hope when he get out. You know that he's he just stays away from that shit, man. Like, 
Uh, like I hope he don't end up like what's his name? Uh, uh, Rico. What? Yeah, Rico. Who from uh, uh from Paid in Full? The dude from Paid in the dude. Who, oh, who, I know what you're saying. Yeah, don't please don't end up like him, man. Like that dude was wilding, man. He's he was wilding, man. He was talking crazy about what happened, like when he got out and. Oh man, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They they all of them seem to have, like when you're up that high, they seem to have like connections with more, you know, mafia, gang, cartels, all that stuff. So to me, it would be pretty hard not to go back to it. And then you're used to a certain lifestyle that that brings. You know, no, I don't uh, think you used to it after twenty years. That was a long time ago. So you think he he's okay with coming out and being poor? I wouldn't say I, I poor. Think, I think he's gonna take the the um the best opportunity of the second chance given to him and and preach to the inner city kids that they won't make the same decisions anyway, as him. You don't even believe. <laughs> I think I, I don't know if Quentin be trolling or if he be <laughs> just, like y'all think the like worst of people. That's so. I funny. didn't say. I didn't even give an opinion. I believe gonna, that he's okay. yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I believe that he's gonna stay clean. I don't think that he's going back to jail. Um, nobody wants to go back to jail in their fifties. That's number one. Uh, number two, I think that there's too many different ways to make money off of his story now. If if the uh, real if the real free Ray Ricky Ross could stay clean, or you know his brother Terry, he ain't ended up back in jail. I don't have, I don't see no reason. I mean, you know, he could sell the rights to a movie. He could, I'm sure he's going to be doing plenty of interviews. I know that it's it's a thousand platforms that's probably reaching out to him left and right, trying to get interviews. He's going to make money off that. Um, I think he'll be fine. I think that he'll be fine. I think he's going to figure it out. Um, I don't think that he'll ever be able to go back to doing it as big as he used to do it, obviously, but. I, be, I believe that he'll figure it out. I think that it's people that's going to want to know a story and he gonna, he a hustler and people going to figure out how to get that money. But I don't think that he's going to end up back in jail. I think he'll be all right. Good. <laughs> is, is, he gonna oh. get a, uh, is he going to get an interview for, uh, on Anton from AntonDaniels.com? Uh, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, for the price that he probably requests, and I'm not willing to give that type of money. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cause it is gonna be a bag. It is. It's gonna be a bag. It is. He gonna go, he gonna go to Vlad and Vlad gonna give him twenty. No nah, and... man, Mika, no nah, Mika, Mika, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's where he go. That's no, where he gonna go. No, 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 no. <laughs> we not. Nope. No, nah, one thing we not gonna talk. <laughs> you gonna cut on your? You gonna cut on your YouTube? You not gonna talk that up? Please like don't this. do that, man. I don't. Oh my god. And Vlad gonna be like, so how was it in prison? <laughs> I don't know if that. I don't know what I would ask him. I would have to ask him a, a set of questions that I think would just be insightful. I don't want to see. My thing is, that's the past. I don't want to know about the past. Yeah, as much. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to know about. I, I do want to know, but I want to know about the past and how it affects what the future looks like. I want to know. You know. I want the entertaining stories, but I also want to understand how it changes you. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what your mindset is like. Did you get institutionalized when you went to prison? How many lives do you think that you... Like, I got some other type of shit that I would want to know. I don't want to just get the stories of, yeah, man, how many... What was it like in a club? Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck about that. So my line of questioning may not be as popular. It may not be as, It may not be as entertaining as other people want to see. I think that the general public wants to see, you know, war stories and all of this shit. How did you get caught up and all of that? I don't give a fuck about that. I want to know what incentivized you to get into the, into the into it in the first place. And then did you have, you know, did you sleep well at night? And how did it feel to see your son growing up? Without, you know, I want to hear some other type shit. I don't want to hear that other same shit. But you maybe you can... But but your line of questioning, your line of questioning is probably more so what he would want to talk about, honestly. 
he might be he might be completely reformed and those are the questions that might hit him the hardest for real for real that yeah. type of talk he yeah. might not want those typical conversations like because he nine times out of ten he didn't told them stories like a thousand times the niggas in prison yeah and they're yeah. the same it's the same things like who, who wants to tell the same stories over and over and over again just because you're sitting in front of a camera and you getting paid, it don't mean that you want to tell those same stories. Yeah. You want to tell something fresh. You want to tell something insightful. So that might so, be. Mm, I mean, we'll see. Like I said, I hope that everything work out for him. Yeah, um, man. Just please just stay out. Somebody there. said in your interviews, do you ask questions like that? Clearly, a lot of people don't watch the full interviews that I do. Um, Because my interviews are usually somewhere of an hour to hour and a half long. And even a Felice Johnson interview, I went all the way back to the inception. The thing that went popular was a clip, you know, certain clips, but the full interview was available. Yeah. And we went into his childhood, how, you know, he was disowned by his family, how he got caught up in the first place. We deep dove into how he was tortured in prison, you know, how the guards and you know, mm. how he, he came up with certain methods that ultimately terrorized officers, how he wound up getting out, how, you know, they basically pulled his teeth out. The the state of Kentucky pulled his teeth out because they said that they were weapons and all of this stuff. So it's so funny because naturally people are, and that's how I know people naturally gravitate to the clip or this one thing that they used to see on NBC, but they yeah. never really got the substance of what it was like that. That man said that he he had never seen a woman naked in his life because he got locked up when he was a teenager. Yeah, and so by the part. time that he wound up giving in, according to his words, and he he, I mean, you know, all I could do is go by what he said. By the time that he got he gave in to the whole idea of sleeping with a man, he said he had resigned himself to thinking that he would never ever get out of prison in the first place. And he was in his late, I think late 30s, early 40s by the time he finally gave in. And so it's a lot more to that. It was psychological. It was a whole lot. But again, people miss the whole conversation because they only focus on a clip or they looked at a reaction of what somebody said. But the information is out there. We asked a lot of questions and we deep dove into a lot of things. And he told his whole story from the time that he first, you know, when he's younger and how he used to get whoopings and stuff all the way up into the time where he finally got out and he wound up getting married. But people miss that whole thing because they never listen to the entire conversation to get the context and get the whole story. They only listen for that one clip. And that's not my fault. That's y'all fault. The people that mm -hmm. watch that's they fault for being so short sighted and not being able to get the full context. That's your fault. That's not my fault. I mean, everybody just wanted to talk about the stuff he was saying like <laughs> to you and they didn't want to talk. They, they didn't, they never talked about that. I never heard anybody who who brought that interview up. Well, I never heard them say anything else about that interview. But but what was from the clip? Yeah, I know. But that's and not I still, my fault. I, I still that's the short sightedness of the people. I put the whole information mm -hmm. out there. What they took from it is up to them. Yeah, I still. That's what Joe was talking about. Home. He said so many people don't like. He they asked him why does he still do those long, the long form like that, and he said. He said, because I want to get the information. He was like, if people don't go and watch the three hours, oh, well. He was like, but I'm going to do three hours. He's like, if you just want to watch the clip, that's fine. He was like, but he essentially said what you said. If you get the wrong information, that's on you. That is that's true. all now. And I mean, like I said, Fleece, you know, he played for the camera, but that dude, he married. He married to a woman and everything. A dude been married since oh, wow. he, out of, yes, he, is, he has a wife. He is married. He mm -hmm. is married to a woman straight out of prison, and a lot of people don't know that.